my name's Adette Lassert. I'm with Nine and Three Quarters Coaching, and this is Wisdom Wednesday. I come to you every Wednesday morning with some tips and tricks to help you get through the rest of the week. And we have been going through the Harry Potter series chapter by chapter, picking out the coachable moments and see how they apply to your life and giving you some um, guidance on how you might use them in your life or how you can rethink something that's going on in your life. Something along those lines, anyhow. Just, you know, something different. And today we are in chapter nine, The Philosopher's Stone and the Midnight Duel. Now this chapter is when Malfoy um, lures uh, Ron and, and Harry specifically into a midnight duel, a false pretense of a midnight duel. He lures them out of the Gryffindor Tower um, and makes sure that uh, they're going to get caught or there's a potential for them to get caught. In the meantime though, um, it, it's Hermione who gets drawn into this um, event, this act, this um, duel and gets drawn out. They end up in the corridor that they're not supposed to be in and they get drawn into the room where um, the three-headed dog is. And it's really, um, it's a great scene, but what I really wanna focus in on is one of my favorite Hermione quotes because it really truly says a lot about who she is and where her priorities are. So I'm just gonna briefly read this to you. It says, I hope you're pleased with yourselves. We." could all have been killed, or worse, expelled. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to bed. Now, what's interesting is that Hermione puts her perception onto being expelled is worse than being dead. And that's interesting because it shows where her values are and it shows what's important to her. So for her, becoming a witch, a really powerful, intelligent, smart witch, that has all sorts of skills that will get her into the Ministry of Magic. For her, being in attendance at Hogwarts has incredible value. It has more value to her than being dead. Sorry, than being alive, I guess is the right, right way to say that. But it's more important for her to be at Hogwarts than to be alive. Her priorities are there. So how does this apply out for you? How does that work for you? Well, what it means is I want you to look at what your priorities are. Now, a lot of our priorities are based on our values. So have a look at your values and then look at your priorities. Now, your core values don't change a lot, but that doesn't mean that you can't prioritize one value above all other values. So look at what you're prioritizing. How does that play out for you in your life? So for me lately, I realized that COVID hasn't been going away like I had hoped last spring when it hit, but I needed to look at what are my priorities and how am I going to play that out? And I realized that one of my priorities that I had been neglecting was my health. And so I thought, well, how can I enhance my health? I always say I don't have enough time. We're now in a place where we kind of have more time than we don't. Um, so I was able to reschedule things. I was able to reorganize things and to put health as a higher priority for me. Now, I can't go to the gym like I typically would, but that doesn't mean I can't go for a walk. It doesn't mean I can't go for a hike. It doesn't mean that I can't prepare healthy meals for myself. Um, so I've changed my priorities, reorganized these things, and used that concept of what are my priorities? What is more important to me? What are my values and where am I prioritizing those values? So I'm gonna ask for you to look at, as you go into the new year, knowing that we still have several more months ahead of us before we ever see um, a vaccine that's available to the common person, to each and every one of us, we still need to work through this. So what are your values? What are you prioritizing? And how will that show up for you? Maybe your studies are really important to you, and this is a great time. You've got 
a lots of time to focus in on your studies and to make these things better for yourself. Look at all your different resources. You have the time to go and Google and to YouTube, all sorts of different things to teach you the things that you're missing. Maybe you're not getting what you need from the classroom environment, but that doesn't prevent you from reaching out and getting assistance elsewhere. So what are your priorities? And um, maybe juggle them, figure out what's more important, what's going to align more um, in tune with your values and what is um, ultimately your goal. So I hope this helps. I know it's kind of an odd little thing for you. Um, it's just something different to think about though. And I do appreciate all those people who are tuning in and listening. I wish you all the best this week. And we're into a new year in the new, um, so 2021. And I'm um, looking forward to what will be on our plate. And we'll continue in the Harry Potter series, chapter by chapter, looking at the different things. And if there's a chapter that you would like me to focus on a particular item, please feel free to reach out to me. Send me a message and say, hey, I'd like you to explore this, this particular um, area of that chapter, and I will definitely do that for you. I want to remind you that I do have private coaching spots available in the upcoming year. I'm also doing a lot of stress management workshops. Um, so if that's something that's of interest to you, and I've got some self-esteem workshops that I'm also doing. I can do those one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I can also do them as a group with you. So please feel free to reach out to me. Love to hear from you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye now.